Today we are testing to see if I have a blown head gasket. Now if you remember in my last video when I was doing the radiator flush, I saw a little bit of oil residue and I got a little concerned. To put it simply, we're going to put this tube over the radiator with the blue liquid. If it changes color to yellow, that means that we have a blown head gasket. That means that there's combustion gases that have gone into the radiator. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure your engine is cold before opening up your radiator cap. We're gonna fill it up up to this line right here with a test liquid and we're gonna put it over the radiator cap. And at the top of the test tube, there is a little hose that connects to the vacuum line. So I just connected it to one of the vacuum lines right there. Now the instructions say that we need to uh, take out about two inches off of the radiator fluid uh, from where the radiator cap is. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I don't follow instructions. And as you can see here, we have the engine running. I'm going to let it sit here for about two minutes. But if there is a head gasket leak, we'll be able to know because this will turn yellow. This should not change color. It definitely did change color. So that is an indication of a head gasket. After I turned off the engine, I realized that the line actually went up. There was more liquid than I originally put in it. And therefore, I came to the conclusion that there was probably radiator fluid in there and not necessarily a head gasket leak. So I pulled out my turkey baster and I sucked out two inches of radiator fluid from the top of the radiator and I put it into a container that I was later going to put back into the radiator. So we're going to test this again and see how it goes. One thing I did want to mention is I angled it a bit because I didn't want any radiator fluid to go into the reservoir. After letting it run for two minutes, the liquid did not change color, therefore there was no head gasket leak. I'm definitely happy because that means I don't have to put money towards a head gasket and I could put that towards a lift and some bigger tires. Alright, and that was it. That was the uh, head gasket test. and. We are good to go. We know that the head gasket is good on this engine. It was a close call. It made me very nervous, but I know now I have peace of mind and I can drive it a little bit more comfortably. I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful and somewhat informative to you. I'm going to continue to make videos about my Land Cruiser. I have a lot of maintenance and uh, little issues that I need to fix. So stay tuned for those. Thank you very much.